The People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state has rejected the signing of the peace accord organized by the National Peace Accord Committee to ensure peaceful elections. The party accused the police of partiality and uh, claimed the umpire had shown bias and acted in the interest of the All Progressive Congress. The PDP believes it cannot prevail in a free, fair, and peaceful election. Or to sign the peace accord. We are not saying we will not sign, but they have to meet certain conditions. Number one, the immediate and unconditional release of all persons currently in unlawful custody or all these persons if alleged to have been committed any crime should be immediately brought before a court of competent jurisdiction in compliance with all civilized constitutional processes. The immediate redeployment of the current Edo State Commissioner of Police, the current Resident Electoral Commissioner REC, and their replacement with persons who can exhibit fairness and balance in the performance of their functions. All esteemed candidates, parties and their supporters, to remember that peace is the foundation upon which progress and development can, is built and established. Without it, none of the promises made to the people of a state can be fulfilled. We see today, let us remember that all the eyes of the nation and indeed the world are upon us. We have a golden opportunity to set a positive example for other states and nations by demonstrating that we can disagree on policies and priorities, but remain united in our love for our country and respect for the democratic process. We are here in the United States on the eve of another governorship election. Some of you here may recall that four years ago, the National Police Committee took a historic position to devolve the signing of the Peace Accord beyond the presidential election to include all safety governorship elections in view of the tension and violence often associated with the build up and conduct of such elections. Create a conducive environment for free, fair, and peaceful election where every voter can exercise their right to vote without fear or intimidation. We have put in place robust security measures for the safety of persons and materials that will be involved in this election. Our robust security measures will prevent and respond to every potential threat. Our officers have been trained to handle situations with utmost professionalism and respect for human rights. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.